The finances of a church led by a popular televangelist are under close scrutiny this morning. It comes as Pastor Creflo Dollar asked his followers to buy him a $65 million private jet. Mark Strassman is outside the World Changers Church in International in College Park, Georgia. Mark, good morning. Pastor Creflo Dollar's prosperity gospel has drawn significant criticism for its focus on material wealth and luxury, which many argue distorts the teachings of Jesus for personal gain. Critics assert that Dollar's message often emphasizes the accumulation of wealth and prosperity as signs of God's favor, encouraging followers to give generously to his ministry with the promise of receiving financial blessings in return. This theology, known as the prosperity gospel, is seen by many as a deviation from the core messages of Christianity, which traditionally emphasize humility, selflessness, and spiritual riches over material wealth. The critique is that by promoting a gospel centered on financial prosperity, Dollar and similar preachers shift the focus from the teachings of Jesus about serving others and living a life of modesty and charity. Cleflo Dollar is one of the most famous prosperity gospel teachers alive today, and you may have seen him on news defending his $65 million jet purchase. You think a $65 million plane was too much? If they discover that there's life on Mars, they gonna need to hear the gospel, and I'm gonna have to believe God for a billion dollar space shuttle because we got to preach the gospel on Mars. But when it comes to that gospel, Creflo seems to have changed his mind about what the gospel is, and he recently repented to his congregation for his false teachings surrounding it. I wanna start off by saying to you that I'm still growing and that the teachings that I've shared in times past on the subject of tithing were not correct. And today I stand in, in humility to correct some things that I've taught for years and believed for years, but could never understand understand it clearly because I had not yet been confronted with the gospel of grace, which has made the difference. Okay, so right off the bat, if your pastor says this, then you should be worried. You can't get a bigger red flag than this because the gospel of grace is literally what the central message of Christianity is all about. The gospel in its simplest form is that we've done things that are wrong and we can't save ourselves by our own righteous or good living. So therefore we need God's grace, which is a free gift. We need his free gift of salvation in order for us to be saved. So since we're only saved by grace, if we don't have grace, then we don't have salvation. And this is true for Cleflo as well. If he didn't believe in the gospel of grace, then he couldn't be saved all of these years since salvation comes only by grace. Dollar's ownership of luxury possessions, such as private jets and extravagant homes, is often cited as evidence of this distortion. Critics argue that these displays of wealth are in stark contrast to the life of Jesus, who led a life of simplicity and preached about the dangers of accumulating riches. They contend that such a lifestyle sends a conflicting message to believers about the true nature of Christian discipleship. The prosperity gospel's approach to wealth and giving can lead followers to equate their spiritual worth with their financial success, potentially fostering a transactional view of faith where blessings are bought rather than freely given by God's grace. This can undermine the foundational Christian principle that God's love and salvation are available to all, regardless of their financial status. The primary concern with Pastor Creflo Dollar's prosperity gospel is that it appears to prioritize personal wealth and materialism over the more profound transformative teachings of Jesus, potentially leading believers astray from the true essence of Christian faith. I have seen also in the prophets of Jerusalem. I have seen in the prophets of Jerusalem. And horrible things. Hey, God talking. Horrible, Amen. horrible things. Prophet thing. means messenger. That's right. And these things out here today are not messengers of God. They are messengers of money and materialism. That's right. Let me make something clear to you that are visiting and you that are watching around the world. God, and I want you to hear this, yeah. have never sent no man to preach, touch and claim it. It's yours. No. God have never sent a man to preach prosperity plan. No. God have never sent a man to make you believe that right here 
is heaven. No way. God have never sent a man to tell you to just venture after cars. That's right. Houses. That's right. Money. Mansions. Mansions. When you read the Bible, when God sent men, those men were warners. That's right. They warned everybody about their wickedness. That's right. And warned them to get right before the Lord come for them. That's right. But you love these churches that tell you, hold the neighbor hand and tell the neighbor something. Yeah. You love the churches where the preachers tell you, you can't lose with the stuff I use. That's right. All these simple Simon nursery rides. Amen. You want a mansion. Yeah. You want a limousine. You want a big bank account. Yeah. But you don't want God. That's right. Yeah. That's right. I don't care how rich you are. Yeah, yeah. If your car is so long until the back seat is here in Columbia and the driving seat is in Brooklyn. Yeah. You got to call a whole new area code to find out where, what street you're at. That's right. True prosperity is not houses, it's not land, yeah. it's not money. That's right. True prosperity is the wisdom and knowledge and understanding of who God is. That's right. Despite having a large bank account using bodyguards and maintaining a distance from common people, Dollar continues to receive substantial financial backing from his followers. This unwavering support persists even in the face of financial scandals and legal risks associated with his refusal to disclose church donations. Dollar's lavish lifestyle, including luxury possessions and high security measures, starkly contrasts with the more modest lives of many of his congregants. Critics argue that his behavior contradicts the teachings of Jesus, who emphasized humility, service to others, and the dangers of wealth. Nonetheless, his congregation remains loyal, often believing that his wealth is a sign of God's favor and a testament to the prosperity he preaches. The support for Dollar, despite his involvement in financial scandals, suggests a deep-seated belief in the promises of the prosperity gospel. Followers may view their financial contributions as seeds that will yield personal blessings and divine favor. This faith in the transactional nature of blessings perpetuates the cycle of giving, even when faced with evidence of potential misconduct. Dollar's reluctance to disclose church donations has drawn scrutiny and legal challenges, raising questions about transparency and accountability within his ministry. However, his ability to maintain a devoted following highlights the complex relationship between charismatic religious leaders and their congregants, where personal charisma and promises of prosperity can outweigh concerns about ethical behavior and financial integrity. In summary, Pastor Creeflo Dollar's continued financial support from his congregation, despite his wealth, use of bodyguards, avoidance of common people, and involvement in financial scandals, underscores the powerful influence of the prosperity gospel. It also reflects the profound faith and hope that his followers place in the promise of financial blessings and divine favor, even at the cost of overlooking potential ethical and legal issues.